Hello friends, this is Miss Carmen, Children's Services Coordinator at the Fluor Community Public Library. I am very excited that we get to do story time together again. It's been a while since we have you at the library and it makes me very excited that we get this opportunity to go in your homes. I want to ask parents to stay with your children just like if you were at the library. Children tend to have more fun when you guys are around and it's going to be not a long program. Also, uh, today we're going to be doing finger plays and a song and having lots of fun with fall related activities. Thank you very much for joining. All ready to get started. Very good. We're going to get started then by uh, singing our The More We Get Together song that we sing a lot at the library. Ready? Okay. So let's sign as we sing. We're going to sign more. Together, happy, your friends and my friends. Good. Let's review the signs again. More, together, happy, your friends and my friends. Awesome. We ready? The more we get together, 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 oh, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. Oh, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Good job! Let's do it again. The more we get together, 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 oh, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. Oh, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Awesome. Parents, please make sure that you sing with your kids. Singing is great for them, develops their language, and bonds both of you together. Very well. Let's do an activity with some leaves I have. Have you guys been outside? I hope you have been walking and doing some exercise. Social distancing, but still outside and doing exercise. Have you noticed that the leaves have changed colors? Aha! I have two. Have you seen any yellow leaves around? <gasps> yes, awesome! You know that yellow is amarillo in Espanol? Have you seen any green leaves? Hojas verdes around town? Yes! How about, han visto hojas rojas? Red leaves around town? And orange, naranja! Have you seen that color too? And finally brown. These are all of our fall colors and we love them. Fall is actually one of my favorite seasons. How about you guys join me for a song now? This is sung to the tune of the wheels on the bus go round and round. Okay, but it's not those words. I'm sure that by the second verse, you'll catch up. So look. This tree has green leaves, and we're going to go. The leaves on the tree are green, 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 green. Leaves on the tree are green, 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 all around town. Yay! Here we go. You see, now we have orange and red leaves. Can we sing together? The leaves on the tree are red and orange. Red and orange, red and orange, the leaves on the tree are red and orange all around town. Oh, yellow and brown. The leaves on the tree are yellow and brown, yellow and brown, yellow and brown. The leaves on the tree are yellow and brown all around town. What happened here? The leaves on the tree come tumbling down, tumbling down, tumbling down. The leaves on the trees come tumbling down 
all around town. Can you step on the leaves? How do they sound? The leaves on the tree go. Actually, I'm sorry, this should be the leaves on the ground go. Crunch, 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 crunch. Crunch, 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 the leaves on the tree go crunch, 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 all around town. The leaves on the ground go swish, 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 the leaves on the ground go swish, 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 all around town. Thank you very much, guys. Reading time now. We are going to read a book about... What is it going to be about? Can you little ones tell your grown-up what this book is going to be about? I know! Did you say it is going to be about a bear? It is going to be about a bear. And what else? Maybe some leaves in the background? Yes, it is fall time. Now, you're going to hear some words that you probably do not know when I'm reading. Because those words are going to be in Spanish, in Espanol. But I hope you enjoy them, okay? You guys are ready? Leaves, hojas, by David Ezra Stein. Here we go. It was his first year. Era su primer año. Everything, todo, iba muy bien. Everything was going well. Hasta que la primera hoja cayó. Until the first leaf fell. ¿Estás bien? Are you okay? Él preguntó. He wondered. Después, una hoja roja se cayó y una hoja amarilla cayó también. Then, a red one fell, and a yellow one fell. All over his island, por toda su isla, las hojas se caían. The leaves were falling. Look at that. He's very sad and looking around. All the leaves are falling down. Él trató de agarrarlas y ponerlas de regreso. He tried to catch them and put them back. But it was not the same. Pero no era lo mismo. Él encontró una madriguera. He found a hole. And filled it with leaves. Y lo llenó con hojas. Y se fue a dormir. He went to sleep. Just then, the wind began to blow. Entonces, el viento comenzó a soplar. Can you blow too? Yes, look. You're making all those, those leaves go everywhere. Llegó el invierno. The winter came. Hay nieve. There is snow. And it must be very cold. He slept snug in the ground. Él se durmió tranquilamente en, en la tierra. While the snow piled thick. Mientras que la nieve se apilaba. Pero llegó la primavera. In the spring. Con los ojos muy abiertos. Se despertó. With his eyes wide open. He woke up. Él sintió el sol. He felt the sun. And saw the little buds on the bare arms of the trees. Y vio los pequeños retoños en las ramas de los árboles. Y él pensó que las hojas le estaban dando una bienvenida. And he thought that the leaves were giving him a welcome. And that is the end. Very well. Now, I want you to count your fingers with me. Can you do that? We have one, two, three, four, five fingers. Parents, remember left to right. ¿Los contamos en español? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. 
cool. Good job. We're gonna use our fingers to do a finger play, okay? And this is going to be about bears. You guys are ready? Can you count the bears with me? We have one, two, three, four, five little bears. That's right, five. In Espanol, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Some of you, and I hope you do, you remember the words because we use this finger play a lot here at the library. Here we go. Five little bears sitting on the ground. The first one said, let's take a look around. The second one said, I feel rather funny. The third one said, I smell honey. The fourth one said, shall we climb up a tree? And the fifth one said, look out, there is a bead. So the five little bears went back to their play and decided to wait until the bee went away. The end. You guys are ready? Let's do it one more time. One, two, three, four, five. En español, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Five little bears sitting on the ground. The first one said, let's take a look around. The second one said, I feel rather funny. The third one said, I smell honey. The fourth one said, shall we climb up a tree? And the fifth one said, look out, there is a bee. So the five little bears went back to their plate and decided to wait until the bee went away. The end. All right, I'm getting a little tired, but you know what? I know you do too. And so let's just stand up, stand up with me and follow the actions in this rhyme with me. You guys are ready? We clap up high, we clap down low, we jump, 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 and around we go. Up and down, up and down, clap your hands and turn around. It's a lot of fun. Very good. We're going to do it a second time. Ready? We clap up high, we clap down low, we jump, 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 and around we go. Up and down, up and down. Clap your hands and please sit down. Oops. Yay! We're almost done. But I want to show you two great books that you have to check out. Okay, the first one is Froggy Picks a Pumpkin by Jonathan London. And this book, he's actually, you know, trying to find a pumpkin to carve it. If you have read other Froggy books, you know that it is going to be a fun, re it's gonna be a lot of fun reading it with the kids. And we also have I See Falls. These type of books make me particularly proud here at the library because it's a non-fiction book which is actually written for little ones. So it teaches them fact in a very fun way. It is I See Fall by Mary Stu. Very well. So I hope you guys signed up to receive your craft sets your craft kits. One of the crafts that we had in that package was materials to make a fall tree. Since we've been reading about leaves and colors of the fall, you can make your own fall tree. It has a sample on how to make it and different uh, little circles that you can fold and glue 
and turn them into a beautiful fall tree. If you did not sign up to receive the uh, kit this month, make sure you do it next month. We have plenty, I hope. We, we, are, we have a good amount. And um, if you didn't this month, you can do this with construction paper at home. You know I'm all in favor for torn paper. Torn paper helps you get your kids get their little muscles in the hand, hands straight. I mean, strong. And pretty much, you keep going until you have an awesome fall tree. Very well, we are going to sing our goodbye song soon, but I did want to bring up to your attention that in the packets this month, you have a fall coloring book. I hope you've been working on it and that it looks amazing. I always ask, please take pictures of your kids working on the material, with the materials and the crafts that we provided and send them to us. We would love to see them. If you say that we can share them, we will. And if you say that we can't, we won't. But just send them to us so we can see that it's, you know, our uh, efforts are going somewhere. So I'm ready to sing goodbye. <gasps> no, I have to do something before. There is an amazing person that is on the other side of this video. His name is Jesse Davis. He works in marketing with the city and I really appreciate. He's been helping me out with these videos and I just can't say thank you enough. So let's put it together for Jesse. Very well. Okay guys, I'll see you next time. Goodbye, goodbye, we'll see you soon. See you soon, see you soon. Goodbye, goodbye, we'll see you soon. On another day. Yay!